Welcome back everyone to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the way we tow our 2015 Chevy Silverado 4x4 behind our 40 foot Class A. It is on an 18 foot flatbed trailer. We are by no means experts on this. This is just the method and the way we do it. It has worked for us. We used to haul a Jeep Rubicon on the back of the trailer. We've done a Chevy Captiva. And now we're towing our truck on a flatbed trailer. You can either um, flat tow your vehicle or dolly tow your vehicle. But we have chosen a flatbed trailer. Um, it's just less wear and tear on the tires and the vehicle all together. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And hit that bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload a video. This channel is all about finding handicap accessible places and inspiring people to get out and enjoy life if you have a disability. I raise money through PayPal and Patreon to help disabled people to get a, a medical supplies or just a piece of equipment that they might need that might help them be able to enjoy life a little bit more. I believe in paying it forward to help other people. And I want to help the disabled people just like I'm disabled. So sit back and relax and watch this video and be, feel free to leave me a comment so I know you watched the video and tell me how you tow your vehicle behind your RV or if you have to tow. So I'll see you later and I hope you enjoy this video. And just remember, your next dream, your next adventure is just over the horizon. So let's get started with this video. how we haul our truck behind the RV. We hitch up a flatbed trailer to our big RV. And we are hauling our 2015 Chevy Silverado 4x4 on this 18-foot trailer. We prefer to flat, kind of a trailer haul our vehicle other than flat tow or dolly tow. It says wear and tear on the tires and everything all the way around. And our RV is a 2007 Sun Voyager by Gulfstream. It's 40 foot long with two super slides. It was the last year that Gulfstream made a Class A. a wonderful weekend camping over here at Warrior State Park in Kingsport, Tennessee with a bunch of other YouTube channels and some subscribers and just good old friends having a good time camping.
And this is how we secure our vehicle on here. Jim does that same thing to the other side. We had these put into our trailer. We put Jim put those in so we can do this. And we got these straps off the internet. I don't remember the exact website we got them from. No, because we got these about six years ago. Yeah, we bought these about. Yeah, it's been about six years since we've had these. And it, they really come in handy for this. And of course, we make our stops at rest areas and always check our straps because you don't want an accident but this is a 2015 Chevy Silverado 4x4 and it tows real nice Jim comes over here and does the same thing to the other side. You always got to make sure your vehicle is totally secure. Jim is very particular about this. always make sure you make your stops every so often and check your all your belt, um, straps make sure they're tight and secure
He makes several checks to make sure everything is tight and secure. Now we're ready to hit the road. See you later. These are the routines we do when we stop at a rest area. Checking all of our apartments, our straps, and our tires. It's always good to be safe. Jim always checks all the straps, all the tires. And we also monitor our vehicle when we tow it on our camera that is built inside our RV. We keep it, that's the way we keep track on it and make sure everything is still intact and in tow and safe. Always be safe when you're out there on the road in your RV. See you in the next video.